Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your secret scribe here ready to do your reading. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is going to be a reading for my Scorpio's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Scorpio, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's coming at you. And don't forget to subscribe to my new channel, Nature Speaks 333, where I channel the trees for the collective every day. All right, so Scorpio, I have a new spread here. Whatever reason you came to this reading for, the energy that you're holding associated with that is the Six of Pentacles. So you may be attempting balance in your life. You may also be dating a couple of people you may have your hands in more than one thing like two jobs to something it's like splitting your energies right let's see why you're holding this energy what's going on with scorpio's energy knight of coins okay so whatever it is that you're working on you're taking your time in doing so. You're inching towards this balance, which is quite okay. Tell me more about the Six of Pentacles, Four of Swords. So this is a part of your healing process. You're not saying much. You're not really telling people about what you're healing, what it is that you're going through currently. Ace of Vessels. You're learning to love yourself. You're focusing on your heart space, which is, I love that, Scorpio. I love the feeling of this right now. Because you may also be doing more meditation than you normally do on your free time. And I feel like that is definitely helping your heart space to open up here. So, why... Sorry, that's not why. This is the challenge, the Ace of Wands. So your challenge is to move forward at a faster pace when it comes to love and passion or whatever it is that you're passionate about. Spirit wants you to push forward a little bit faster than this Knight of Coins here as it pertains to passion and love. So the Seven of Vessels here, Mm. So you're going to be challenged because you're going to have a lot of options. So this is going to be one of your challenges is to decide, Nine of Pentacles, which one sees your worth, which one is worth taking a chance on here, the Emperor. So this is Aries Taurus Energy. They're wanting you to stand in your power, Scorpio, and know exactly what you want. So if you're taking your time over here to heal, if you're taking your time to balance and to get to know thyself, right, and to get to know thy heart, they're saying, be sure about what you want, because coming up in the near future, you're going to be having a lot of options. If you don't already now, because like I said, I am feeling for some of you, you're dating a couple of people. You're giving a couple of people your energy here. Okay. They're wanting you to understand your worth and make sure that whoever it is that you're choosing also understands your worth. Okay. Because you're the emperor here. Spirit wants you to step into your power. So why this is all happening, why all of this energy is occurring on the internal um, you is the five of coins. So you've been feeling lonely, left out in the cold. Perhaps there was a ghosting that went on in some sort of relationship here, okay? But you feel left out in the cold. So I feel like you've been searching in your heart space. You've been searching to find that balance 
because that's what's making you feel better. I feel like you're following your intuition here and this is why you're doing what you're doing. The Queen of Coins, this could have had to do with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. This is a Capricorn card. Tell me more about this Five of Coins here. The Ten of Wands. So perhaps there was something that you wanted to reignite, that you wanted to rise, like the Phoenix, a relationship from the past that really never took off again. Maybe you attempted to reconcile and it didn't work out. One more card. Yeah, the hanged man. So you were just left waiting and, and confused, feeling like you, you lost valuable time possibly. So you began to look at things from a different perspective. And this is what brought you to the energy that you're holding now. What's coming towards you, Scorpio, is the two of vessels. So you do have a soulmate that is coming towards you in the near future. Wow, Ten of Vessels. So your happiness is near. You just have to keep following your intuition and keep acting on it. Action towards whatever it is your intuition is telling you to act on needs to be done in order to get here, in order to get to this emotional fulfillment here. Because there is a lot of happiness that I'm feeling here. There is a lot of love. There's a lot of time and energy with the Seven of Pentacles that's going to be put into this relationship. You're going to have the patience. They're going to have the patience to really allow this relationship to grow. Eight of Wands. So this person could be at a distance from you, but there's going to be a lot of work. I'm feeling a lot of hard work that's put into this, but it's not going to seem like work because it's going to be very passionate, very, they're saying nurturing very fulfilling who is this person how do they feel about scorpio who is this individual and how do they feel about scorpio let's get in a little insight as to who this is the knight of swords this could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius this could be somebody that you work with with the eight of pentacles here So you may have even had some um, lady of staffs. This may be somebody that's around you, possibly at work, that you've already had encounters with, communication encounters with here. You could have even had some disagreements. But I don't think it was angry disagreements, just communication. High Priestess here in the Eight of Vessels. Yeah, see, so this person has been holding in their feelings for you, okay? So it could have been, is one of those love-hate things. It could have been actually expressed in a way that may be a little bit confusing to you. And I feel it's because they've been holding back. They've been holding back their emotions. This person is very intuitive. They feel like you're intuitive as well. Yeah, see, there's a lot of anxiety and fear about communication with you. So if you've communicated with this person in the past and you're like, what was that all about? That's that's what it was all about. It had nothing to do with whatever it is that they were bringing to you. So the king of vessels, this person's emotions run deep. They see you and feel you as a soulmate and somebody who is very intuitive and has a good heart. Yeah. This is how you feel about them. The moon card. You may feel like this person is keeping something from you, but it's really their emotions. It's how deep their emotions run. No, they're not a player. You may be thinking that they're hiding other people. They're not. I can tell you right now, they're not. Nine of wands. They're just wounded. Uh-huh. They're just wounded and they're not giving up on love and they're deciding that it's okay with you because they feel a connection they feel a soul tie so if you feel they're hiding anything it really is not a person it's not anything but how deep their emotions run for you even if you just met them doesn't matter 
All right, your advice is the Ace of Pentacles. So they're wanting you to pay attention to the opportunities that are going to be upcoming for you here. Lady of Coins. Six of Wands. Take this opportunity to get notice here with the Six of Wands. You're going to be getting a lot of attention. Accept it. Gain clarity and truth here about love, about what it is that you want in love. Okay? Know that they're wanting you to realize that you will come through this battle because divine timing is here but it's all going to happen when it's time so there is a need for patience here so while you're waiting uh scorpio gain that insight into the self gain that insight into your heart and gain insight into your past relationships so that way you don't take the same challenges and bring them into any new relationship that's up and coming okay the fool Take that leap of faith. It's okay to do so. This person is, you know, it may feel like because you're intuitive that they're hiding something. And I guess they are, but it's not what you think. All right. So advice for Scorpio. Dream time. Creation. So they're wanting you to do a little bit of daydreaming, Scorpio. That's part of the manifesting process, right? And I'm also getting right down your dreams. If you remember your dreams when you wake up, even if they are nonsensical, all the more reason to write them down, okay? Because what something means to you is something totally different to somebody else. You know, a horse can mean freedom for somebody, uh, but means something totally different for you. So it's important to write down the symbols that come across in dreams, any numbers, any dialogue, anything. But more importantly, they're wanting you to create your world via daydreaming. So not only imagine it, but feel it, okay? And you will begin to notice a change of the experiences that you're having on your day-to-day -day basis. All right, Scorpio, I hope that resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates. I wanna hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. And also don't forget to subscribe to my new channel, Nature Speaks 333, where I channel messages from the trees every day for the collective. You have a wonderful day, Scorpio, and I'll catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.